In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the right front CV axle on this Audi A4. It's going to be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. In the trunk, lift up where the spare tire is. You can see where the toolbox is right here. Just lift the handle, slide this out. You can open this up. Inside, here's the ring that we're looking for. Grab that. Using the tool from the trunk, go in the center, the center cap, pull the center cap out. Using a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts off. And before you take the last one off, I'm just gonna hold the wheel so it doesn't fall. Take that off and grab the wheel, and slide it off. I'm gonna loosen up the axle bolt just gonna lower the vehicle down and put a couple of the stud bolts, lug studs in. We're gonna use a long pry bar just to prevent this from turning. That's good. And take a H17 socket or a hex 17 millimeter. And we'll loosen this up. Loosen that up. Take the two lug studs out and we'll take the bolt out. That's the bolt. Now I'm going to take a six millimeter hex socket. I'm going to take these bolts out around the shield. Take that screw out. There should be another one right on top. And then one more down here. that out. Grab that shield and slide that out of the way. Now I'm going to use a M10 triple square socket to take these bolts out for the axle. that out and then I'll rotate it and pull those out Should be loose. If not, you can tap it with a hammer. I'm going to remove this bolt and nut. Use a 16 millimeter wrench, 16 millimeter socket. Take that bolt out. I'm just going to use a punch and a hammer. And just tap the ball joint out.
this one's stuck in there a little more. Just using a pry bar, you can pry this out a little bit, but be careful, you don't want to break anything. You may need to use an air hammer. Just try to tap it up. using a little pry bar, just split that a little bit, and then just with a punch. Just try to tap this up. There we go, pop that out. That's good, out of the way. I'm gonna take the axle out of the hub. Just pull this forward. You're gonna have to turn the steering wheel all the way to one side so that it's pushing the rack out. So turn it to the left. Pop that out. And from underneath, I'm just using a pry bar, just tapping that off just to separate that flange. And grab the axle and it comes right out. And we'll just clean up this ball joint just so it's easier to install. Just using a wire brush. Okay, that looks good. You can clean up the other one as well. New axle. And just get it to line up. You can get one of the bolts started. And slide it into the hub bearing. Now slide the axle into the hub. Make sure it lines up. You might have to twist it back and forth a little bit. Yep, that's good. Push that in and line the ball joint up. You can also turn the wheel back so that it's going straight. And push the ball joint in. Just tap it down a little with a rubber mallet. And just pry this down. There we go, that's in place. We'll do the same on the other one. Get that lined up. Get the nut on. All right. Snug that down. And now we're going to torque this to 30 foot pounds. And start putting the bolts in for the axle flange. Get those started.
and get these all finger tight. That's good. Now we're just going to snug this up first. Make sure that's snug. And we're going to rotate it to the opposite side, 180 degrees. We'll snug this one down. Snug that down, and then I'll rotate it again, 180 degrees, back to the one that you originally snugged down. And then we're going to torque that to 40 foot-pounds. Just to stop the axle from spinning, I'm just taking a screwdriver, putting it in the fins of the rotor, and then the caliper is going to stop that from turning. Forty foot pounds. Now we'll rotate it again, 180 degrees. Torque this one down. This is just to make sure it's even, evenly torqued. And same, put the screwdriver in the rotor. Forty foot pounds. Now it's even. Now we can just move on to the next bolt. And go around and torque the rest of them. Double check this one. This one's already been torqued, but just, yep, that's good. Should be the last one. Should be the last one that's loose. And we'll just double check this one. It's already been torqued. And it's good. They're all torqued. I take the shield. Line that up, get the bolts started. Should have three, this vehicle only has two. Snug those down. Tighten those down. Now I'll get the bolt. Make sure you put a new axle bolt in. Just 
get that snug. Put a couple of the lug studs back in. Using the pry bar just to prevent that from spinning. Now we're going to torque this nut to, or the bolt, to 147 foot pounds. And then with a torque angle meter, you want to go an additional 180 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. You could mark the bolt or the socket and just go a half turn. I'll take the lug stud bolts out and install the wheel. Take the wheel, slide it in position, take the lug bolts, get that started. Snug that down and you can let go of the wheel. Snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 90 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. center cap where the hole is. You want that lined up with the valve stem. Just line that up. Tap it on. Take the little hook, put it back in the tool kit. And close it up. Put it back where it goes. Lift the handle and put the handle down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.